Hi Pisces, I'm Tyler DeSantis and this is my YouTube channel. Um, this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what we have for the month of January 2019. Like, ooh. Okay, first card out, the sun. So this whole reading is going to be dope, but we came out with Queen of Swords, so that's good too. She is ideas, she is the mind, she is thoughts, coming up with new ideas, um, which, about your work maybe, or about how you get your work done, because where this is upside down, he's staring at his crops, he's looking at them, these are things that you've manifested into the material plane, they are seeds you've planted, are you letting these seeds... Are you planting them and going out there and ripping your seeds up before they grow into crops? Are you staring at all this resistance and not letting your seeds grow? Um, maybe you need to find new ways of going about the work you do because this is a card about ego and it crossed over, it was crossed over this like this. So maybe you're having issues at work with your ego and you are just ripping your crops up before they're ready, which crops are manifestations, um, or you're not letting um, you're not having a good time at work. Your mind is breaking your own heart. This isn't really about the heart. It's more about your mind because swords are the mind. So three swords are stabbing your heart, but these are things that never actually happened. So maybe you have an ego and you're starting shit with people about things that never fucking happened. It's like, hey, we was going to go to lunch yesterday, but you didn't show up. Um, yeah, but you're still mad about that lunch that we never went to and never happened, never manifested, and blah, blah, blah. So you're worried about shit that never went into reality. It just almost. Stop breaking your own heart for almost. Because you have the sun here, and new opportunities to fight, and it's 2019, and it's too early to be a big baby already. So what else do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising for... January. And today is 111. 111. Ooh. Okay, so you have the moon. The moon is intuition. Um, maybe get in touch with your um subconscious. Get in touch with your spiritual side. That's what everyone needs to do, really. We need to find our own like spiritual voices and get our own advice. And I, that's why I started is watching tarot videos. Um this is happiness, this is fulfillment, this is your passions and things that you love, creative endeavors coming to fruition. But after you get in touch with your inner self, your innermost peace, your spiritual guides, your higher self, your God peace, your you is to you, and you better do that before you get left out in the cold. It's like, now is the time to do things. Like, now. Like, decide what you want. Write it down on a piece of paper, Pisces. Because we all know you get stuck in La La Land. And you have all these dreams and all these beautiful things. But you just are like, blah, 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 blah. And you're just caught up with a bunch of shit. But you guys are passionate. You guys make... I love Pisces. But, um, ooh. And the soulmate card coming through to say, you're going to meet somebody. You're going to meet somebody who's really gonna fuck with you. Who's really gonna emotionally fulfill you who's going to bring you all the missing parts of yourself that you um you hadn't seen before and if you guys want to check out my other video i'm at my twin flame this month and all these greetings keep coming up this fucking card which is soulmates which is finding the other half of you so i have a video on here talking about it i'll put it at the end of this one but keep your eyes out for well, you don't even keep your eyes out but your heart's gonna feel it, I'm telling you. Shit's crazy. <clears throat> but you need to break down the structure. A lot of these cards are talking about the structure. With the tower, it's like the structure of um, any of the two ones that came out. The tower is like the structure of um, your beliefs, your belief system, or <sighs> excuse me, these parts of yourself that <laughs> you either feel shamed about. It's like we put a lot of our passions, dreams, goals, good shit in the dark. 
So people are like, oh, my shadow self, I don't fuck with it. Your shadow is where all the good shit is, dumbasses. We left our passions and dreams as a child in our fucking shadow self. And all we've been doing is wearing this tower, wearing this mask, wearing this poncho, wearing this cover, wearing this stupid shit. We're not naked. We need to go back to being naked. Take your fucking coat off, spiritually, naked. So be who you are. Don't be afraid to be you. Because this guy comes through and say, you have the whole fucking world in your hands. You can do anything you want. You have two wands, so double, psh, double the manifestation. And you have the world in the other hand. So fucking do it. Oh my gosh. Ah! Um, okay, so the emperor. He is... He brings everything into reality. He is the manifestation. His throne is concrete. His little scepter is eternal life. He has an arc in his hand. So he knows what's up. And the Knight of Pentacles crossing over the moon, the sun, the queen of swords, and the four of wands can tell you slow and steady wins the race. This horse is slow. This horse is consistent. It's going to be a lot of work. But if you're in your flow, and you're doing something you love, it shouldn't be that hard. It's just staying consistent and knowing your goals and keeping a schedule and staying on point. It's not really about a schedule so much because you don't want to be caged. Nobody likes to be caged. But somebody around you might be deceiving you. It might be your own mind. But it might be some of your friends who are stealing like your joy, stealing your treasure, stealing, stealing period, whatever the fuck they have to steal from you, mooching, um, Taking your ideas, which ideas are free for anybody because no nobody owns ideas. They just come and they go. They're like house guests in your house. But your mind is blank. I'm saying like, I just went on a rant for no reason. But somebody might be sneaking around fucking with your girlfriend and your boyfriend. And you're fucking with your, I don't know. Somebody's doing something deceitful and it might be you. So check yourself. This page of pinnacles saying like there's an adventure. There is an opportunity, you should go and travel and take this opportunity to mm, go find wealth, go find things that might not be money, but might make you feel just as good as money. They might help you spend less time at work so you can spend more time on your passions, or it might be combining your passions with your um, work so that you can, that's all you have to do. Pa pick passion over paycheck, always. I'm gonna put one more, see if there's anything on that. Whoa. Hmm. And the Page of Cups. This card reminds me of you because this is like, the cup is you, that's your vessel, and has a little fish coming out of it. So the fish is, I always think of it as Piscean energy because the fish is like that Jesus energy. It's that inner child. It's that um, Jesus, Jen, Genie. Rub your temple, rub your lamp, and let your genie come out. Rub your heart chakra. That actually makes your heart beat. Um, it actually like brings like your heart chakra into alignment if you touch your heart. So touch your heart, rub your lamp, manifest your shit, get your genie out of its fucking thing. Ask for whatever you need or meditate and wait for your answer. Whatever it is, do that this month. I'm going to pull some from the rebel deck. To finish this reading, Pisces. And then I will see you guys back in February. Don't forget to check out my other channel. Check out my videos for Pisces for last month. Check out your moon signs. Check out your rising. Check out your Venus. Oh. You are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Pisces, what did you do? This little deceptive guy must be you. And also, too, that might just be the theme because we're leaving the Pisces um, age and going into Aquarius. So, but love has came through. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Mm, believe what you see. Face fucking reality or choose to live in La La Land. Um, be brave. You're giving your power away. Um, you're act, uh, you are a badass, act like it. 
you're a badass, act like it. <laughs> and it's not everyone else's fault, it's yours. You're a grown ass adult, stop blaming other people for your shit. Well, Pisces, there you have it. <laughs> Best of luck. Don't forget you have the sun in this reading, so it does cheer everything up. Don't forget to talk to your cup. And don't forget you might have a soulmate coming. So if those aren't good things, I don't know what is. But love you, bye. <laughs>